Picture this. You get a random burst of motivation. You want to draw. You may have an idea of something you want to draw, or you may just suddenly realize that you would feel a whole lot better about yourself if you were actually decent at something. You pick up a pencil or a pen, or even a stylus. You find a piece of paper, a sketchbook, or even your tablet. You start trying to draw, and after an arduous 15 minutes, boom, it sucks. You suck. Not only is your sketch disappointing, but your wrist has become sore, your fingers feel clunky, and nothing you try to do it works out exactly in the way you envision it. Your lines are jagged, uneven, and nearly impossible to place with precision. You feel terrible. A dangerous phrase pops into your head. Perhaps I'm just not talented. More than a few potential artists quit here and never return, with good reason, but a determined bunch somehow push forward. These people begin to seek out help. They consider taking classes, maybe buying one of these on Amazon. They buy expensive pens and exquisite papers. Or most likely, they end up doing a Google search and finding a video right here on YouTube. Now, YouTube's art community has an enormous amount of great resources, but of these resources, I found an exhaustive amount of one major error. See if you can spot it. Here are Mark Brunette's and Sam Does Arts videos for beginners, where they both recommend routines that include full-on figure drawing. Marco Bucci has a video on painting basics, but not really one on drawing basics. Cynix does a little better here, recommending studies of artists you admire, but this is still very painterly. And Ethan Becker has a video where orgasm and fear. You see what I mean. There's an enormous blind spot on art YouTube. These videos are not for actual beginners, they are for intermediates, which is a very important distinction. These videos assume so much more knowledge from the beginner than the beginner actually has. They assume decent control of a pen or a pencil. They assume endurance in the fingers, the wrists, the arms. Some of these videos assume the newbies have tablets and even drawing software, let alone even a sketchbook. A lot of these guys have been great artists for a long time, but before they were great artists, they were mediocre artists for a far longer period. And all the way back, long, long ago, before they were even mediocre, they were where you are right now. Uh, okay, so I'm pausing the thing uh, because I'm recording this on, I think, a week after I recorded my original uh, uh, irritatingly upbeat voiceover. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm not going to replace it because that would be a, a ton of work, and I think that annoying little little bitch boy voice is uh, kind of funny in a way. Um, but the the lesson here that I want you to take away is that I think that a lot of art teachers tend to forget uh, what it's like to actually start, and that starting can be extremely painful, uh, especially to the to the ego, because it can be really frustrating to, yeah, especially as an adult, to just sort of like take a crack at something and then it fail and uh, it just feels shameful and it, and it hurts physically I, I know I felt like physical actual pain when I would look at my old drawings like disgust and self disappointment I kind of buried a lot of that and um, yeah I mean I think a lot of artists do the same so what I want you to take away here is that you know the artists advice to just draw is correct but you do not have to, A, start out uh, just drawing real things. I actually re really recommend drawing abstract things, uh, trying to take the, the pressure off of, of drawing, helping you to have like a good time or to be relaxed at the very least while you're doing it. Um, what I don't want you to do is I don't want you to try to draw over and over again and just get frustrated and frustrated and frustrated and frustrated. Because I see so, so many people, these people that I, that I tutor, these kids, sometimes these adults. Hi, cat. That's my cat. Oh, Gus. What are you doing, bud? Okay, I'm going to hold him here, and he's going to chill with us while we talk. Um, I, just, I just see so many people shooting themselves in the foot. They get so frustrated. They, they get down on themselves. I can see the pain in their, their face. Like, it's, like, it's like they're uh, high. It's like I'm pinching them in the elbow, you know. Whenever I, I ask them to look at their drawing and we talk about what happened, about and we, we, you know, whenever I give critiques, it's like these people, they they just despise what they've made, and I get that completely. But I think that a lot of what makes a person improve is not necessarily that pain. You are such a stinker today. Yeah. Yeah. What I uh, recommend you to do 
as a beginner in the arts is uh, to just get yourself comfortable with drawing and getting yourself comfortable with seeing yourself as an artist and getting into the habit of opening a sketchbook every day or of doodling something, right? Try to have fun with it. Try to make it a part of your identity, a part of your day, um, and, and enjoy it, you know? The second thing I want you to do is I want you to go to drawbox.com. I'm not affiliated with them, and it's free. Uh, it's all completely by, you know, it, it's just run by some guy. Uh, who feels I think a lot of the same uh, a lot in the same way that I do um, and Drawbox.com really helped me get my foot in the door for drawing and helped me build my foundation so that I could Tackle other subjects of study within drawing and not feel completely lost and frustrated and annoyed um, And it really helped me to feel like good about the process of learning um, But getting yourself to that point is its own little little trial so Please, whatever you do, uh, if you're going to start drawing, don't try to draw something that's way out of your comfort zone, that's way beyond your ability, and then really feel terrible because you didn't live up to your own expectations. Uh, that's all I would uh, request of you. Sorry to ramble. Sorry to have my cat in the microphone. You are so cute, bud. You are so cute. Um, but uh, yeah, these are my thoughts. Uh, I want you to have a good day and uh, take it easy.